Okay, so this is me taking the last four steroids of the day before I go into chemo. I'm going to have a banana with it and a drink of water. So, hope we're all going well. Bit apprehensive, but. Lola's there with her. Yeah. How are you feeling, Barbara? A bit nervous, but I've got my steroids, got my snacks, got my books, etc. Got plenty of water. So, I'm going to make a packed lunch. Please put that in the fridge. Yeah, so. That's what Barbara's prepared for me while I'm waiting for her. Here's our camper van. So we're all good to go. Go back in and see if I've got everything. So we're off. Barbara's just filling in our free car parking ticket that we've got. Um, and it's a nice sunny hot day. Too hot. Yes, Too hot really. Yes. But um, Barbara's just about to undergo chemotherapy. How many sessions you got there, Barbara? Four What's sessions with three weeks in between, and it's called TC. That's the, the drugs they, they'll be using. Followed by radiotherapy and tablets, but we'll tell you about that later. So this is the first, we've been for the visit to the ward. It seems really nice. Um, had to take eight steroids this morning. I took some yesterday as well. And I was up all night because I just couldn't sleep because of it. But um, you took them a bit late as well, didn't I you? I did, right? probably because I was a bit apprehensive about taking those as well. But, but were they uh, all right? This morning, and I didn't have such a bad effect. Touch wood. And yeah. I just so we've been stuck behind the bus on the way to Bishop Portland on this lovely summer's day. I think there's some better places <laughs> to be caught to. Yeah. <laughs> but never mind. So Barbara's quite upbeat. Um, she's been through quite a lot of emotional states, really scared ones mainly. Yeah. But the last week, uh, now that we know it's happening, we're um, we're resigned to it, aren't we, Barbara? Yeah. Really, and we know it's going to happen. I've not only have cried over the treatment, I've cried over losing hair. I've got really long hair. Um, I didn't know whether to go with cold cap. I've wondered about it, how I've wanted to do it, I haven't, but I've decided at this moment to do it. I'm not going to do it um, because I won't be able to put my hair colour on. It's just going to get a, a mess anyway, so I'll be covering it up. So I've got some nice beanie hats and scarves. So I've got a wig fitting on Monday. Don't know whether I'll get it on Monday, but I'll keep you posted with that. And all of that lot got um, arranged by the hospital, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also this cold cap, it, it, you're in the ward longer and I don't really want to be in any longer. Although, it is so hot today, I might <laughs> go for it. I don't <laughs> think I will, Rob, but I'll let you know what happens. Lovely day, isn't it, Bob? This is what started it off for Barbara. She actually went on a routine breast screening um, appointment around about January, Feb February. January, February, and they found something um, which has resulted in us being here today. <laughs> After biopsy and whatever else, but um, we'll, go yeah. in, we'll go into more detail about that. Yeah, I've had the to... operation, had it removed, but I'll tell you about that later. So Barbara's going in, she's taking the brave plunge now, aren't you, Bob? Yeah. You don't want to make a big fuss, so we're not going to film too much. I don't think you'd be allowed to film in there anyway, to be quite honest. Yeah, we're not sure whether you're allowed or not. But, so um, um, we'll film coming back out. We'll film coming back out, we'll give you a description. Might be in a good better mood then, or not. And, and you can also tell them what goes on, can't you, Bob, yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. A little bit more detail. So here we go. Lift front, Oh. Okay, so I've managed to get the van literally outside Barb's window. So the Barb's window is the one that is closed. I've whistled to her and she's acknowledged she's on the phone. So she's just inside there. And I'm here. The beauty of having a camp camper van. I've made a nice cup of tea. And Barbara's made me some cheese rolls. They're bloody lovely they are. 
So I'm just literally waiting outside that window you can see just outside to the above my steering wheel is where Barbara actually is. I've whistled to her um, so she knows where I am. And I'm just sat outside here waiting, having a cup of tea and a cheese roll. How's it going, Barbara? It went well. It went really well. I, I, I was just in the nurse. I won't feel this good when I get warm. But yeah. yeah what did she say? She's given me some anti sickness meds, the next appointment to third hogs where I have to come on the, the first of bloods. Yeah. Um, and got the steroids for the next time, and some extra anti sickness meds to work alongside the other ones if the first ones don't work. And how do you actually feel? Better than before I came in. I feel okay, totally. Right, okay, that's good then. But we'll see. So you've done it, Barbara? Yeah, one down. One down, straight out the jaws. Out the one, straight out. <laughs> I parked the van just there, look. Oh, that's brilliant. So you were outside. Literally yeah. outside your I window. I thought they were first and then I couldn't. All right. Oh, God. Just open that for us, Bob, so I can put these in. Oh, just hold them. I'll have to get the keys. Anyway, one down, three to go. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. Right, so first of all, they put your... Put your you, you, the line in there on a drip and they flush it out flush your drip your, your pain out and then um, after that she came and had two sort of syringes full of the the first drug and I think that was the doxtaxel and she just sat and put that in it took about 15 minutes if that and then the drip went up for the other drug which has got a long name, Cycler. I'll have to get back to you on that. And that took oh, just about an hour. And then a final 10 minute flush. And then that was it. And I got a cup of tea. Um, I had a yogurt. I was trying to, every time I moved, I was sort of moving the thing. I managed to go to the toilet. But that was a bit iffy. That was before the actual proper drugs went in. And then I kinked it once just to answer the phone and it beeped so I didn't uh, sort of move after that but yeah I feel, feel alright so far I've had an anti-sickness drug and got so here we are Bob we've done it we've done one one down three to go it's done really well I don't know when you think about it it's only how long was it what time did we get here two o'clock but we didn't o'clock. get in at dead on time. So it's um, now five o'clock. So you're a little bit late going in because you had to wait in the waiting room, didn't you? Yeah. But, but uh, were they nice? Were they kind? Oh yeah, they were lovely. Yeah. It's really good. Well, that's all right. Can't say anything bad about it, really. That's good then. You know. Um, Did you get a biscuit? No, I'm saying I have new one, and I'll, I didn't really want anything. But I've got a yeah, giant couple of tip There's the petrol prices. They've gone up to nearly two pounds at some point. Um, after one pound fifty, weren't it? What a shock. All because of Russia and Ukraine. So how do you feel then, Barbara? So here I am back home. Um, yeah, I feel good. I was hungry, so I've just had a sandwich there. Um, food never really loses you, does it? I, no, I don't. I feel okay. The steroids is had most sort of um, help. They, they've made us feel funny a bit, but I think they've helped the anxiety as well. I think I don't know, but um, the whole treatment, I felt okay. Everything about it, I felt okay. So. Hope it continues so far. And yes, I am proud of myself because me being very anxious, I've spent weeks absolutely being terrified, worrying about every single thing, reading too much on Google probably. But like I say, I, 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 I went well for sale through. So far, so good. <laughs> we'll see later on. Is Barbara drinking alcohol-free lager? Yeah, definitely alcohol-free. Um, but I've been drinking lots of water as well. How are you feeling now? Still okay. 
surprisingly. Um, You've watched the soaps, haven't you? We've had a good tea and we've watched the soaps. Um, How long ago was it since you had the chemo? Um, about four and a half hours now. Since, since you've finished? Since I've totally finished. So about six hours in yeah. total, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you're not too bad. Not too That's bad. That's brilliant for day one, isn't it? Mm. So far, so good. Yeah. 